So when you print it in multicolor, um, you have to select the colors on the screen and as well as on the slicer. Um, so what you do is you is you, is you actually click on the, the color. Underneath you'll get a little pencil come up. You click on that. You can pick what material um, what material it is. So PLA um, and then confirm. Um, and then you can go to the color. You can pick the color you've got in, in there and then push confirm um, and then save and do the same um, with the same. So you, you basically you, you just click on the, the actual uh, filament tube thingy and then underneath you'll see the little pencil and then it tells you the PLA uh, or it tells you the, the, what kind of filament um, and then just save it all and the color that you want. Otherwise, it won't sync on the slicer if you don't do it from here as well. Uh, right, so once you've got the um, colour set up on your screen um, and you've got the model you want to colour, um, you just come over to here. Um, it, you can pick um, so PLA. So um, there it's, it's you can pick what, what colour over here. You can change the colour as well. Um, so I'm going to change that to red because that's actually red. This one I'm going to change to grey because I've actually got um, I've actually got a multicolor one in there, um, and then sync it. You sh make sure you see the sync age pro successful. Otherwise, when you print, it's not going to print out in color. It'll just print out in the first color. Um, so now we're going to color the dragon which is very straightforward and very easy to do um, you click on this palette up here um, it gives you the colors on the filaments so you click on the color you you, you want to color you want to paint with um, you have brush sizes here so you have a circle brush you can change the size you have a sphere um, you can change the size of that um, triangle as well um, shell um, and then you've got the smart fill which I'm going to use because it's just it's a lot easier so um, we'll do click on number two because I want it white and red so we do that red red and then the tail red we will do that red that red uh, that one just swing it around do that red oops it's just on. If you want to undo it, um, you can just undo it like that. So I'm just going to get in a bit closer, and it actually, uh, where you know the color is going to fill, it'll come up with a line like that. So you can do that, and just try and get this the same. Um, right, so. Let there you go and then so it's the same right, and the eyes um, I think what I'm going to do is do a multicolor um, so we just want to so we'll zoom in just change the full angle down a bit if you change the fill angle down, um, you can do smaller areas, so it's a lot easier to do. So there you have that. Um, on this one, I am going to put support on it, and I'm going to put a brim on it as well. Um, and the more settings, you can obviously change the layer heights, uh, the filaments, I'll tell you what it is and the printer as well um, so I think that actually what I might do on here is just change these it's all white I think it'll look nicer yeah I think that, that'll do it change that little one to white as well so the infill density um, I think I 
I'll just leave where it is, support, put it in the, that's on as well. Um, so, G code preview. So it's just doing the uh, G code preview now. Or generating the, the G code. Right, so the slicing's finished. Um, I'm going to remote print that. Um, I'm just. So I'll remote, it tells you here it's going to take 2 hours 49 minutes. Um, and I'm going to be printed at a slow speed as well. Right, so now I'm just going to remote print that. And let's start print. So it's uploading the G code file to the printer. And that's success. So once it's been sent to the printer, you can go back to your workbench and you can control the speed here. It tells you the nozzle temperature, the bed temperature, the colours um, of the filament that you have in the box heat. I've got the drying on which shows you up here as well, so you can actually turn it off here as well on the, on the drying if you, if you want to stop the drying. Um, I haven't got a camera connected, otherwise the camera would be shown up here. Um, so now we just wait and see how well or not it prints out.